Alright, friends on the old uh, YouTube, right, for those of you that are interested, I've managed to get myself another antenna. Because um, the one I had is just an ordinary silver rod type thing, you know? Um, that's my current one. I think I bought it from Thunderpole uh, about, oh, hang on, about two years ago, a year and a half, two years ago, and um, it's done alright, it's not, it's not the worst, but I've managed to get myself, through luck, uh, an IMAX 2000. Here it is, in the box. Now hopefully we'll be installing it today. I haven't got a ladder long enough to reach, so my dad's going to come round, um, he's got a, a tower, made in the USA, IMAX 2000, made in Ohio, I mean Holland or Ohio, it's fiberglass man, it's a fairly well made antenna, as far as I know, it's got a you screw it together. Oop, I'm not even looking at it. You screw it together. Screws and stuff. So, I'm hoping that it will uh, perform as well as it's supposed to. People say there's a lot of good things about it. So hopefully it'll be alright. And uh, yeah, I'll make a video. Uh, I'll continue the video once it's installed. Shall I? Yes, I think I will. Also, I've had a little rummage about in here and I've made a little makeshift shelf out of some board I had left over from the floor in for the conservatory. A little makeshift um, shelf down. So I've uh, got a bit more space on the old desk now. I'm going to put a computer there, I think. Put a laptop there. And, uh, yeah. Just want to show you that. I've got the Superstar program now. The Superstar's in here. 6900, that's programmed for um, 10 metres more than just the CB channels so we're, we're going good we're going good I'm trying to get everything done before this baby arrives you know we've only got like seven weeks to go now and then the old baby should be popping out so I want to try and get everything done you know the conservatory's up and running so yeah man I'll do some more uh, I'll do some more uh, machine videos soon I'm going on, a, on Monday I'm going on a blade for a day so I'll make some videos there mate yep lovely job the reason I'm speaking quiet, by the way, is because it's like 5 o'clock in the morning and there's like no one about. Well, there is my old antenna, the old silver rod, all collapsed down, apart from one section. That one was uh, a bit seized up, I couldn't get it to go down, but it done well. I think I might put it up along here somewhere, perhaps. Use it for local speaking, but that... Let's go in the shade a little bit more. That is the that is exactly how I found the coax um, when when I went up to it. Um, you know, I found that that was plugged into the antenna, and the coax was like that, exactly like that. And I had an SWR one to one, and uh, it was working all right. Locally, the reason I changed antennas was because I wanted to get out better. But that is exactly how it was. Yeah, that is it. I can't believe it's working. That had all come off. It's been out there about two years. And obviously, it's got water in it, isn't it. The wind, we made the heavy winds, so obviously pulled it down, pulled the cable out, and uh, that's how it was. And it was working. Incredible. And also, when I pulled the antenna, let it down, about probably two mugs worth of um, two mugs worth like that of water came out of it. So it's full of water. So it's surprising it still worked, really. And up there is the new one.
went up pretty well, extended the pole a little bit, cable tied it all together. And uh, yeah man, it's working alright so far. I've only had one contact so far in Langdon, it's about 10 miles away probably, Tony. Um, there's no one on 10 metres, no one on anything else yet. But I'll see how it goes. Hopefully it'll be much better than what it was before with the old antenna.